hey, it's Cat at Cat Tales TV. Some interesting things happened. Uh, I've gotten kind of shadow banned on Twitter. And I don't exactly know why. It could be because I share links to my Redbubble and also my YouTube channel. And because I've designed so many different designs, like I think I have over 500 for sure. There's sort of a design for every topic. So sometimes I'll literally post period. Um, one of my designs with the T at the end of the period to someone else saying period. So whatever. Or it could be somebody showed a video of Jay-Z doing an interview from a long time ago, laying on a bed next to a guy, white well, two girls to his right are having oral sex with each other. Well, one girl's doing it to the girl. And Jay-Z's like next to the girl doing it, you know? And then there's two other girls on the side of the interviewer pretty much telling them to get undressed and they just start doing, you know, start doing whatever they're doing. It's sort of like a pimp, you know telling his whores to do what he wants them to do for a client. But anyway, I saw that video and I retweeted it and said, you know, not safe for work. But I've never seen that video. It's wild. It looks like it was back in the 90s or whatever Jay-Z started because most, most artists would never do an interview like that because it's literally porn. But yeah, this whole thing is so bizarre. The Diddy connection, the T.D. Jakes connection. And by the way, Diddy gave T.D. Jakes a million dollars, um, I believe around 2014. But um, I posted that on my, my Twitter feed. And I'm sure... The facts that I'm finding and reposting is not making me very popular on certain people's radar. Also, I actually covered Jeffrey Epstein in 2000, was it 2019? Anyway, you can go to my YouTube channel and look at those videos just by searching for Jeffrey Epstein on my YouTube channel. Uh, but. One of the other funny things I found out was that not only was P. Diddy, I think he actually was on the list, but Naomi Campbell, who dated Diddy allegedly, she was on the list, which isn't surprising because she's in photographs with Ghislaine Maxwell. And, um, you know, she seems to have a long history of hanging out with Jeffrey and Ghislaine. And, you know, she was in the modeling industry, still is. So she knows a lot of beautiful young women or young girls, <laughs> coincidentally, and she likes a lot of rich men. <sighs> I was going somewhere, but these people are so weirdly connected that it's bizarre. So yeah, not only did Tyler Perry give T.D. Jakes a million dollars, but Diddy gave T.D. Jakes a million dollars. Um, you know, but also T.D. Jakes resided over Kim Porter's funeral for some strange reason, and she didn't even like T.D. Jakes, allegedly, and I believe she was cremated really quick after her death without being buried, which is, I don't know. Everything was wild with this case, but it seems like nobody, like none of the authorities really cared to um, investigate it. And there's, there was a case of a woman that was allegedly Jay-Z's mistress who died. And I shared a video that I found on YouTube about her Oh my God, I'm trying to remember what her name was. But uh, I just found out about it. I don't know if her last name was White. 
but anyway, uh, I posted that, and I'm sure the powers that be don't like it, but again, it just seems like the higher authorities, like the FBI, and et cetera, et cetera, gives these guys a pass, which means that they're protected, you know? And powerful people can do powerful things. But it's, it's wild. So, in regards to Twitter, I don't know if I'll be posting on it. Because after they told me that my, my, my Cattails TV was going to be flagged, um, I happened to like a video, and then I got a note saying, yeah, keep, keep liking videos and, you know, you, you'll get more exposure or some bullshit. So I'm being used to promote other people's content, but my, my reach on Twitter is being, um, siphoned or, uh, shortened or censored. It's very weird weird shit going on. So you guys look at what's happening and how the whole Cat Williams thing, which is hilarious, has taken the attention away from the Jeffrey Epstein list. I mean, this shit's crazy. Cat Williams is now the star. You know, like 10 years ago, he was robbing people, including me. And getting away with it and never going to jail permanently or prison because he's uh, he's very wealthy. So now he's the the uh, the princess of the ball, and good for him, you know, good for him. But yeah, this is what's happening right now. So I don't know if a lot of you here look at my Twitter feed, but unfortunately, I will probably, I know about YouTube, YouTube had um, demonetized my Epstein videos when I did them in like 2019. What I find very obnoxious with YouTube is that many times I was filming news stories in New York with CNN, ABC, CBS, NBC, Fox News, right by my side. And those videos that they did were monetized. Even though we're shooting the same content at the same time, mine were demonetized. I do not understand that. And I, I questioned that on Twitter by showing the videos that I was talking about in regards to Jeffrey Epstein to YouTube. I've done this multiple times, but I think there was at least five videos or six videos that I retweeted to YouTube to remind them that they're treating me differently than they treat the news, the big news people. Mine are demonetized and theirs are not. And they, they, they don't even give me a good excuse. They're such full of shit. So, I'm looking for places to post my content beyond YouTube, beyond uh, Twitter. I'm going to have to look at Patreon again and see what's up with that, but yeah, I'll be not tweeting as much or actually closing down my account. And meanwhile, there's at least four or five accounts with cattails tv another account using my photograph and i've told that to twitter multiple times but they ignore it and they've got numbers at the end of their cattails tv spelled the same way i do but there's at least four or five other accounts that are not mine so that's what's going on um but what can i say you know when it's me I would assume, and uh, I will let you know where I'm at when it comes to my content, but I am pulling back from Twitter. Twitter is kind of an addiction, a bad, horrible, disgusting addiction, and lately they've been showing crazy stuff. 
like I don't know if it's like a a like a mind control uh, indoctrination of accepting like some really sick stuff but I've seen videos on there that slip through that are look like snuff films looks like one of them looked like Jeffrey Epstein um, shocking a child on the ground uh, one a video that looked like Justin Bieber uh, giving oral to uh, some what's that guy's name Beckham the black football player not the soccer player um, at some party with all guys and I don't know if it's real or fake but it looked really real and also I've seen like what looks like C porn on there and it's just it's like he's not he's intentionally destroying Twitter but also I'm talking about Elon Musk but also there's no there seems to be no censorship to hardcore pornography or what looks like C porn I hope you understand what I'm saying C H I L D porn it's just it's 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 the wild wild uh uh toilet so i don't really want to promote him i don't want to help him and i also believe they love people of color arguing with each other and talking about stupid shit like cat williams ad nauseum so we give more energy to that stupid racist uh bullshit on Twitter. I really don't like Elon Musk. I, I think he's not a good guy. But yeah, that's what it is. And this is Cat of Cat Tales TV. Um, I'm at the beach. It's cold. But it's beautiful. And I will talk to you later. Please subscribe. Um, hit the like button. Uh, also, send me a super thanks or a donation would be awesome. And that's that. Talk to you later. Bye.